Missouri. Um, but hey, I'm Mike Lowe. Thanks for tuning in, guys. We, of course, are playing Dynasty Mode. We're playing Revamped Dynasty Mode more specifically. If you've missed the previous last episodes, go and check those out. We started this career in 2021, um, of course, in-game, and uh, started at Buffalo. And after one year at Buffalo, you haven't seen any of this. This is all new info. Uh, after one year at Buffalo, we finished the season 9-3. We lost our bowl game to Minnesota. Was actually offered the Kentucky job, which I turned down, and then was offered the Missouri job, which just looked like a better match. Um, so and and it's really been awesome. Um, super super enjoying this Missouri team. Who uh, boy, it's nice to have a good offense. Nice to have a good offensive coordinator. Um, let's just kind of start by just maybe taking a look at who this Missouri team is, and we can do that a little bit through just looking at the game preview. And, and this whole stream, really, we're going to go through just kind of what does revamped look like. Uh, you know, maybe uh, into your second year and that kind of thing with some of the different dynasty tools. Um, utility tools and things like that that I've been using uh, and just kind of give you a preview there and then we will get into some gameplay here momentarily um, so if you're interested more in the gameplay side you can just click ahead and move forward but um, yeah I mean we've had a much much better season Buffalo was pretty bad our offense was really really bad um, just couldn't really find any consistency um, but we had a really good defense with Buffalo and this year it's kind of a mix we again have a really good run defense with Missouri uh, that's mostly because we've been beating teams and, and they've been passing on us. And so, uh, lo and behold, we have a pretty rough pass defense, though, which is a little bit different. It wasn't great at Buffalo, but it certainly wasn't that bad, uh, as we're seeing here. Our, our turnover differential is much more realistic this year. Um, our defense is forcing some turnovers, and our offense is holding out of the ball, uh, which has been super, super important. So we're 8-2, and two, you can see there on the bottom, 5-0 and oh regional, 3-2 and two on national and uh, averaging about 66,000. And uh, if we win today, it'll be our 700th career, or I guess program win, which is pretty cool. Uh, we got two games left in this season. It'll be uh, hosting Florida, and then I believe it's at Texas AMU. Uh, Texas A&M, what am I saying? Uh, AMU University. So uh, let's see. Uh, we were ranked. Uh, it's kind of funny. We were ranked once, that's Florida. Um, here is our schedule. We were uh, actually ranked. We got to 25th after beating Kentucky. And then look at this. Went to Tennessee, who was 1-8 at the time. And they destroyed us. We could do nothing. We went 3-0. and out. We punted. They scored on like the first play on like a 77-yard run or something. It was just one of those games. Like we just could do nothing to stop them. And Tennessee has a good team. I have no idea how they were 1-8. and eight. Um, But that's what happened. Our other loss uh, got beat pretty bad by number three at the time, number three, Georgia. Uh, they have just the one loss now. And uh, had a pretty nice bounce back win here against Army, 45-10. to 10. Uh, Really, the, the highlight of this game was uh, two user interceptions by the guy I control, which is the free safety. And it's probably the most one of the most rewarding things I think I've done in a sports game. Like I've won an MVP in MLB The Show playing all 162 games, and that's really cool and all. And but there's something about getting a user interception on Heisman with the C Gator sliders, which is uh, one of the uh, perks there in the uh, revamped community. If, if you connect with that slider channel there, they can get you all set up. And, and there's tons of info there that will help you get those installed. But they're kind of like under the hood changes that are more than just slider changes. So uh, beyond even what I've done with different games, which is just kind of, you know, uh, on the surface slider changes. But um, this is kind of like reworking the game engine a little bit. And it's been awesome. It's been a huge, huge challenge. Um, and it's just been a ton of a ton of fun playing in the SEC. So again, just two games left here, Texas A&M and then uh, home versus Florida. So we kind of had a, a bit of an easier schedule. You can see we played a lot of bad teams. So even though we're eight and two, I mean, Tennessee, we lost. Kentucky, pretty bad. South Carolina has been bad. Minnesota, which kind of a rematch. Just, and I just randomized the schedule, but a rematch on my bowl game with Buffalo. Uh, we beat them. Kansas. I mean, we've played some bad teams, Vandy. So really, this is kind of a litmus litmus test here these last two weeks what can we do especially with a ton of guys visiting uh this florida game so uh here are our leaders again uh really happy with uh is it basilic i think he in real life he's now transferred to indiana but this guy has been awesome for us he's been our best offensive player uh connor basilic or Bazelak. i'm not sure how you say his name but uh 2500 yards 21 touchdowns to five interceptions um, has played every single snap mostly. I took him out uh, in the second half against that Tennessee game just to get our backup some action. And uh, running back by committee a little bit. Um, 
again, we don't rush the ball a ton because we've just been so efficient passing. Um, Hester is kind of actually our third receiver, but he's just a dude who gets mismatches. He gets open, um, averaging a, an exact 15 yards per reception on 52 catches, 782 yards there. And you can say Jelani Williams there, the interceptions. He's got had two last week for four on the season. He is in the running for an award uh, even, which is super, super cool. Um, just while we're looking, you can see there. there's Florida stats, of course. Pretty darn good team. Nothing too surprising there. Uh, one of the house rules, if you've looked up house rules on uh, NCAA football, you've probably come across an article I wrote that kind of talks about some of the house rules. But one of my biggest ones is I don't scout players until after they're on campus. Or I should say, I guess I don't, I don't scout players until they've been uh, recruited, right? Uh, until they've been secured. And so I have scouted these guys. I can just kind of show you uh, some of the players we're bringing in here. This is just a two-star Juco, but we, uh, he kind of fit really well with kind of where our roster was at middle linebacker. Uh, and it turned out nice. He's a 75. I think he was a. I think he was our one diamond. Yeah. Um, so he came in pretty decent there. Uh, Jamal Larson Jr. Uh, and again, if you're wondering the suffix, that's one of the little uh, utilities you can use with the revamped community. Uh, Jason Johnson, another JUCO three-star, comes in. Uh, Glenn Williams, the only quarterback we really went after uh, out of New Kensington, Pennsylvania. He's a four-star, six foot five, one ninety. Johnny Neal, running back, four-star out of Independence, Missouri. So kind of coming across the enemy lines there. Uh, Walter Kirkpatrick, six foot six, three-star tackle, and then receiver Derek Collins, six four, two oh four out of Crete, uh, Nebraska. So that's been our recruiting class. We have some other guys we're working on, including even this, this, I need depth at guard and I'd rather take my chances. Again, I don't scout these guys. So he's only a two star 57, but I, I do see some schools, uh, or at least one's other schools going after him on uh, Baylor. And so I was like, all right, well, maybe they scouted him. He's okay, but we need depth at guard. So I'll, it's better than a walk on. So, uh, we're going to take our chances here with Marcus Denman and Garcia. And, uh, just bringing in an athlete who would probably play safety for us out of West, West Bloomfield, Michigan. Another middle linebacker. And again, you can just kind of see it just rounding out this uh, draft class. Um, our kicker in, in uh, this actual season has been a beast. I think it's maybe helped with recruiting of uh, Marcus McKinley here, who is the number three kicker. Uh, but my gosh, I almost made a 66-yard kick with my kicker. He just fell short at the end of a half one time. Um, and we haven't used him a lot because our offense has been really prolific. And uh, haven't had to kick too many field goals. So, oh, what else can I show you? Um, you know, as expected, they're pretty happy with us. We just hit our target wins. So really these last two games, I mean, of course, we want to try to win them. But it's nice that that pressure is off a little bit there. Um, I mentioned the two years in a row, it's pretty much all running backs. In on the Heisman. Um, Tank Big Bigsby, Ladarius Jefferson. John Emery Jr., Marcel Murray, and Zamir White. Zamir White was a beast when he played against us, uh, the Georgia running back. It was just crazy, running the ball, catching the ball. I mean, this dude just destroyed us. So pretty cool to see him up there. Um, and I mentioned awards finalists. Missouri's got a few guys. Uh, let's see if I can remember here. Uh, I think the O'Brien were in here somewhere. Yeah, so 12th there is Connor ba uh, Bazelik. Uh, he started as an 87 this year. He's up to a 90, and I'm hoping he comes back. We'll see. Um, I don't know. It's 50-50, it's but we have a decent backup, so uh, could be okay there. Let's see. Pretty sure the Thorpe is, yeah, so there's uh, Jelani Williams. Again, just a 76 overall, but um, has just played really, really well. Of course, 2021 would have been a simulated season before I came in. Um, but he said seven tackles for losses. I mean, I don't even think he started last year, it looks like. Well, maybe he did eight pass deflections, but just ten tackles. So maybe he was just coming in on pass downs. Um, no pass deflections, but he's forced to fumble, four interceptions, and uh, one QB sack. So pretty cool. Um, again, it's just I, I like that I don't have 14 interceptions. I mean, the four are like, it, it's really cool. They're like emotional when you make them. Like I'm like fist pumping. It's super, super cool. And again, I don't know if his acceleration and agility helps, but... He has closed. He's made some really nice closing plays. Um, and if I can pull up the replays here, I'll, I'll show you guys. But uh, pretty cool. And I, I think that's pretty much it. And let's see if 
we've had any more. This is the game against Tennessee. Look at quarter. Look at Tennessee's quarterback against us. Seven touchdowns, 20 of 29. They were a one and eight team. They just went off. We just were so underprepared. And then there's Jelani Williams. That last game against Army, two picks, three tackles, one for a loss. Um, and just really, really cool. It's just cool to see the stats like looking realistic and and things like that. Right now we're we're slotted to be playing Michigan State in the. Um, Oh, what is it called? Let me see. I'm forgetting what it's called now. Oh, yeah, the Outback Bowl. So we'll see. And, again, I will be adjusting uh, the the final four. We'll be doing a, a four-team tournament here, again, all through the college revamped and, and just some of the folks in that community. It's not directly connected to that, but, again, you can find a lot of information on that. Um, if we look at the top four, it's actually pretty realistic. Um, we have some big programs there at the top, and this is the uh, the C CFP, the college football poll. Um, so this is not the coaches or AP poll. Again, one of the little updates here with revamps. Uh, Michigan's 11-0, so they, they beat Ohio State. They're in. Um, it's going to really be interesting, this Ohio State, assuming that they can win their uh, game in between here. Uh, if, if Ohio State's 10-1 and and Michigan's 11-0, what's going to happen to the team who loses? I mean, Ohio State, you'd think, would definitely be out of the top four, but would Michigan stay in there? Oklahoma, uh, one of the only unbeatens, if not the only other unbeaten at 9-0. And then Alabama squeezing in ahead of LSU, who's 9-1, Alabama 8-2. So, again, something to watch out for there uh, since they're still in a uh, SEC championship game. And, you know, only one of those teams will make it. So, um, and, uh, again, Georgia could still sneak in if they're going to be playing one of these two teams. So, uh, a lot to unfold there. So, pretty realistic season. Pretty darn fun so far. Um, haven't really had any injuries. I do the whole like where I match up against the team with the same bye week. So this season for me, it was just Akron and I look and they don't have any linemen hurt. Um, and I just do it for offensive linemen mostly. Um, so we are healthy going into this game and, uh, you can see, uh, Basilek eighth in the country in passing yards. Uh, Elijah Young, 69 in rushing at 827. Hester 30th, JJ Hester at 782, and uh, Nichols, our linebacker, 46 tackles, uh, second in the country. Sacks, I, so again, I love this. I love that we're not leading the country in sacks or anything like that. Uh, McGuire, who I think is actually an interior lineman, uh, it's got what he has four of them or six, was it? Uh, he's got six. And then interceptions, I moved up after two last week. We're number 21 in the country with four. Um, just been really, really cool. And then, again, I mentioned our kicker's just been a beast, just kind of an underutilized beast, but uh, he's got a 54-yarder this year and almost made a 66, as I mentioned. And, yeah, just, I mean, it's playing so well, guys. Like, these sliders are just really realistic. I'm enjoying this game more than, like, Madden, and I didn't even buy MLB The Show. I didn't buy FIFA. I didn't buy NHL. Um, this game is just more fun to me. It's just, especially with all these updates and whatnot. So, um, super, super fun. Uh... Just seeing if there's any other like standouts. I was getting sacked a lot earlier on. I think that's kind of tapered off a little. Yeah, we're not like leading the country or anything. But, you know, some of that's I'm just letting plays develop downfield. I don't mind taking a sack. I don't want to rush a throw. And um, I'd rather try to hit some home runs now and then. So that can lead to some sacks. I'm fine with that. Um, defensively, again, I don't really think we're in the mix as a team. Our defense just has not been good outside of the run defense. Uh, we've gone for it a lot on fourth down. Again, that's just kind of a philosophical thing. We probably have the most attempts in the country tied with them. Um, but you can see, oh, they're seven to three too. So you have two winning teams who lead the country in fourth down attempts, and uh, we're seventy percent on those. So again, being really, really highly efficient has definitely helped us win a game or two, um, just by keeping the ball and uh, getting some touchdowns on those drives. Uh, third down percentage, pretty darn good too. Again, just really helping with, with this offense. Um, of course, you're going to see uh, penalties would be dead last. We don't even need to look at that. Uh, and let's see. Turnovers, again, we were ranked like 17th or something, but I don't think we've given the ball away too much. Let's see. We just haven't taken the ball away very much. Here, yeah, so we're, you know, we've only turned it over eight times. Um, five interceptions, three fumbles. And we've had five interceptions ourselves, but just the two fumbles. So... Um, just a negative one there. So, yeah. Uh, last thing I can show you, because I, I really think it's made a big impact between... I mean, I've gotten a little bit better, but also I think um, 
between Buffalo and Missouri, our offensive coordinator is a beast, and it's really, really helped. So Chad Lunsford is a level 21 offensive coordinator, and oh my gosh, I mean, it has just helped this team tremendously. I hope he doesn't take a job next year, but he's, he's certainly deserving of it. Um, he's got this offense clicking, and you can see the, the, the counter uh, argument to that is Daryl Muhammad, defensive coordinator, is not very good, and our defense has played like it. I mean, after the Tennessee game, I was thinking, like, gosh, I might need to fire this guy. He's pretty bad. Uh, but had a nice game against Army and uh, done okay overall, so we'll see. Um, and, of course, level 5 recruiting for me, level 6 game management. I try to keep those balanced, not for any particular reason. I just find winning games helps with recruiting more than just a bunch of recruiting badges and whatnot. So, all right, well, let's uh, – I don't think we made any changes I need to save. Nope. Let's jump in. The last thing I want to do is I'd like to just look at the depth charts to see if there are any holes. I mean, Florida's a good team, guys. So, I don't know. But sometimes there's injuries, and, and just kind of finding that one hole, maybe something to ex, uh, exploit can help your offense. So, Emory Jones is certainly not a hole. Uh, Naquan Wright, and they got some good running backs. Oh, whoops. Uh, good tight end. Let's go back to receiver. <sighs> yeah, guys who can catch the ball. Not No, like, blazing speed or anything. But, um, I mean, just really good guys. Great left tackle. Oh my gosh, their line is beastly. So that right side is a little bit weaker. So again, if we kind of maybe think about blitzes or something like that, we can try to get some pressure off the left side of the defense. Got to watch out for their right end. Oh man, good defensive line. I mean, this is not a surprise. I mean, this is uh, University of Florida here. Definitely going to be favored in this game. Um, two really good – oh, Jason Marshall is hurt, but it doesn't really make a huge difference. They still got good corners, even though they're strong safeties. They're guys who can still come in and look like – play some solid ball. Um, that must be another Pouncey brother or cousin or something, right? That's cool. Um, my gosh, they are – they are a good team. No surprise. So, I don't know. I mean, just try to move the ball and just play smart. I guess that's the game plan today, but – Let's get into it. Um, uniforms are looking sharp. We're just going to go kind of with the standard. I, I wore an alternate against Army, kind of out of respect for the Army team, but typically go with just the standard jerseys, um, bowl game, something like that, conference championship game. I'll switch it up. Uh, by the way, this game will determine who gets second in the SEC East. Georgia's already locked up number one, but whoever wins this will 100% um, have second place in the East. So there is some importance here to this game. And a ton of visiting prospects, um, although a lot of them have signed, so I guess there's only three now. But I, I probably had about like 12 dudes attending this game. We got a couple tight ends, middle linebacker. Um, so again, passing the tight. I don't try to look at these too much. I mean, I don't care. Uh, I expect these guys to sign with us. If they don't, f off. I just want to win. It's snowing in Missouri. Second snow game in a row. Hey, Brian, I just saw your question. I'm not sure if you just posted it. Um, I haven't heard any new updates. Um, no, I mean, just, you know, I'm expecting we're going to... A little over a year from now is when it'll be out, right? So, um, you know, I would think next July, like July 23, usually would come out... Um, was it, wasn't it always like a week after the 4th of July or, you know, something like that, July 14th? It always came out a few weeks before Madden. Um, yeah, I hope it's good, man. But worst case, this game is playing so well. It's so freaking fun. So fun. And like the losses have been like heartbreaking. There's been some really tight wins. I 
I forgot to show you guys some of the highlights, but I'm a little worried to do it on the stream because it's it's crashed the game sometimes when I've tried to load up like saved highlights, but uh, I never know which way to pick. Like the stadium's always changed. Although I think with our stadium, I want that side. Snow game here. Uh, so let's go. I'd like to do these to start. My kicker, even in like an eight mile an hour wind, can kick it through the end zone pretty much. He is just an absolute monster. So we'll try to give some arc here and see if we can get them to get this around the three yard line or so. Ah, it's like at the nine. Not deep enough. Got the Jordan jerseys. Look how sweet those look. And I've been doing Ask Coach for two seasons, so I kind of trust my coordinators a little bit. I don't know how much man I want to do against Florida here. Strange to see Florida playing in the snow. Of course, we're at Missouri here. I'm going to blitz again. So we will go man to man here. I just feel like they're going to try to run again. Oh! Oh, that would have been huge. It's that Missouri run defense, number one in the country. Yeah, right. It, it's gonna happen. I mean, I think they that that game's happening for sure. Like they're developing it. They've hired guys from uh, the revamp series and whatnot. So I'm gonna blitz again. I just don't think our line's gonna get any pressure. Ah. That's where it's going to be hard to stop these guys because we're not going to get any pressure unless I blitz. And if I blitz and they pick it up, like, I mean, they're just a better team. Yeah, Ryan, I'm, what the game I'm waiting to hear more about is the the NFL 2K game that's supposed to be coming out, whatever that's going to be. Um, they haven't really said a ton other than it's like a non-simulation game. Of course, there's like a ton of speculation about what that even means. So again, that's that strategy of focusing on the quarterback, on the option. I don't want to go man-to-man -man too much with this team, but I mean... Good tackle. That's what we need to do. That's what we didn't do against Georgia and Tennessee in the losses. Is we'd be there to make plays and they'd break it and it'd be 60 yards and it's just crazy. Alright, so we're going to bring a smaller blitz this time. Maybe show blitz. I don't know if the AI like makes adjustments if you show blitz, but I like to think it helps. Oh, yes! That's his second pick in back-to-back -back weeks. And that's only the second pick this team has made that hasn't been my guy, so that's huge. That's why zone defense is pretty good, too, when you're going to blitz, right? Because your guys are facing the quarterback. They're looking for the ball. Missouri. Let's go.
Gonna go to the true freshman here. His name's Fred Toner. Fake player. Decent speed. I like to put a uh, speed guy kind of in these uh, trips formations here to see if he can get... Ooh, good cut. Look how good the recruits look, right? With the utility tools, they have visors and all kinds of cool stuff. I don't use read option very often. Um, I definitely try to limit it. It is a little overpowered. Uh, maybe once or twice a game. Get it. Oh, come on, Young. So this is a situation where we'll most likely go for it here. We have a good kicker, but man, if we can get that turnover and... And they know we're going to run it, but see if we can get these receivers to maybe spread out those linebackers a little bit and just just got to come forward. Oh, my God. I thought that guy was blitzing, but I was like, well, if my guys... Yeah, there was no chance. I had to cut that back. So, again, three, yard, three rushes for four yards. It's going to be that kind of game in the snow here. And even though our passing game has been super strong, I mean, if we can try to run it here in the snow, that's what I want to try and do. Yeah, Ryan, I don't know much about Missouri football at all other than... Uh, I mean, they've put out some good NFL players, right? Isn't like Jeremy Macklin, and I mean, they've had some dudes. First and 15 now after the penalty. This is a 47-yard field goal from here, so we're, we're definitely in our kicker's range. Of course, we have no receiver mismatches. No surprise there. Ooh, look at that block by the center. Yeah, I was going to take Kentucky, but I don't know. Their uniforms are just kind of stupid looking. Couldn't deal with that. Let's see if we see anything open up. But They're playing at least a three or four deep here. Look at that run. Love it. He's only like a 73 when the season started. Maybe he's a 76 now, but just runs hard. Love it. Third and one. We're actually going to pass here. Well, I'm going to call it. Let's see if... So they're pinching on the line. Someone on the left's going to be open. Going to do a pinch protect here. Keep the running back in. Just had to see where that corner went. If the corner went deep and went to that guy, if he was going to stay up, I'd have single coverage with really my best receiver. Let's see if we can hit him with a little play action now. So let the defense dictate here. If they come at me, we're going to go short. Otherwise, we might have something open. So they're going to stay back. I was wide open. And I missed him. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, that's right, Chase Daniel, former Detroit Lion. I feel like that guy's played everywhere. Screw it, we're going play action again. That was wide open, and I missed him. I'm gonna look at this replay. I mean, like it was so wide open, I like just kind of set my feet and waited, and he just and I didn't even put any lead on this or anything. That corner bit so hard. Look at that. Look at how... That's like the most open I've had anyone all season long, and I missed it. Against number 13, Florida. <laughs> Just a terrible throw. Wide open. It's a bummer. It could be the difference between seven points. We're going to pinch, blit, or uh, protect again here. Probably single coverage on X and O. Oh, 
man. I was waiting. Line did a pretty decent job. I want to look at this replay with you guys. Line did it, and I stared this guy down, but I knew when that blitz came from the left, I knew there was going to be single coverage everywhere. Um, and I was just waiting for that out, all that room on the left, right? I was just going to throw it to the sideline in the end zone. And so I was just waiting for that other corner to clear. And I just, oh, see, I, was, I didn't set my feet, though. For some reason, I was moving. I felt that pressure. Otherwise, oh, yeah, look at that. He had a, he had a nice break. So that's two touchdown passes we've just missed. Okay, uh, what do we got here? Third and goal. Yeah, I mean, we're already in field goal range, so. I think they're coming from the left. Yep. Touchdown. There's Hester. It's my guy. I don't know who Connor Basil Basilak is, but he's like my favorite NCAA player ever. Other than those previous two throws, those were a little rough. But Missouri leads seven nothing. So let's see. This this really came down to just identifying it pre-snap. I saw like just a, way too much traffic there on the left. I was like, why are all these guys over here? Oh, probably because they're blitzing, right? And so when they blitzed it, I knew against single coverage. That guy wasn't even close. It was that corner route. He wasn't even close to covering him. So all I had to do was just wait for that break and just lob it in there. Beautiful throw. Gets the feet in. Man, I mean, there was probably dudes open. Yeah, over the middle would have been open. But good job, line. Way to pick up that blitz. So again, just looking at the blitz here. Running back stayed in. Yeah, just... Again, kudos to the sliders, like just perfect amounts of time, like super realistic feeling. I've had wide open plays like that where I just get hit as I throw. Oh, it's a touchdown. Get out of here. Um, yeah, Ryan, we have a quarterback coming in. I forget. I, I don't know. I showed him in the beginning of the stream. Um, but I also have a, a good backup, like Macon, I think is his name. It's like Bacon, but with an M. Um, he played the second half of the Tennessee game we got killed in. And uh, so I don't know, because like Basilek, however you say his name, I'm hoping I'm saying it's right, Basilek, is a redshirt junior, so he could leave, and he's had a really good year. He's now got 22 touchdowns and five interceptions. I'm hoping he comes back because he's just been like, we're just like one, man. Like we're just in sync with each other. It's hilarious. So Missouri forces the turnover. They got momentum. Real nice drive. But we're still talking about flow. Oh my gosh, what the heck? Still talking about Florida here. I mean, they are good, man. Bring a little blitz here, a little zone blitz on first down. Listen to this crowd. I'm not sure if you guys can hear it all that well, but it is so loud. Ooh, man. Come on, guys. I imagine, right, in Missouri, I mean, it's just got to be a hard place to, like, recruit, right? I mean, especially now that you're in the SEC. Like, I have Texas as a pipeline, but, like, are a ton of Texas players. Like, yeah, I can't wait to go to Missouri. Um, no offense to Missouri, uh, which I believe is where Ryan is from. But, um, you know, it's just you don't think, like, college football powerhouses in the, in the state of Missouri, right? And it's like if you couldn't probably put it together in the Big 12, I imagine the SEC. Well, I don't know. Maybe there's an argument that's easier in the SEC because there's more of a, a draw to the conference as a whole.
Trying to disguise coverage as much as we can. Ah. Just kind of a broke-ass play. I mean, that was a design run. Kind of thought they might do that, but... If they're going to come out like that, I have to just go hard against the pass, because... There's going to be someone open. And we're not going to get pressure, so... I just try to identify it quickly and almost play like a QB spy when I see it. Alright, job D. Yeah, I could see it being a shark tank for sure. But still, I mean, you know, if I was a high school athlete and Missouri came calling, it's like, even if I might get my butt kicked in the SEC, like, I'm playing against some of the best dudes, man. Shoes. Um, I mean, that's cool, you know. And I just, I would be such a sucker for, like, playing in big stadiums. Like, I would still rather, instead of being like, oh, you can be the top dog, come to, come to Akron. Or come play Missouri where you're going to be a starter and, and, you know, probably win four games a year. But, like, you're going to play against Alabama. Like, that'd be so cool. Like, I'm not going to make it to the NFL. Most players in college football, what is it, like, 2%, 1% of the players actually make it to the NFL? Dang it, dang it, dang it. Third and seven. Um, so it's like you're most likely not going to make it. And if you're talented enough, they'll find you. Like, Khalil Mack going to Buffalo and... They'll find you, and, you know, to me, it's like, I don't know, I would just love to just go play those big stadiums and things like that. It'd be super cool. Oh, man. Woo. Thought he's going to have this guy deep. Come on, D. We're not very good. Sometimes we just get some good... Scheming stops. Forced to turn over last drive. And cheat way up here. Uh oh. Oh gosh. Okay. He had so many open dudes. And I didn't pass predict on that either. Our coverage just bit on that play action really bad. And I wonder if the snow plays a role. I mean, I've never seen a player slip so or just get so far out of coverage than that first touchdown incomplete pass I had. That was almost a touchdown. Oh, man. Yeah, and I'm finding it's really hard to shift direction in the snow. Feels like I'm playing hockey. Well, we might as well try and strip down here and see if we can pop that ball out. And I guess we can also go... Aggressive zone. And this is the tenth play of the drive. Got to be careful of a pass play with this defense. Somebody jumped early down there. Once you're set, you've got to stay that way. The slightest flinch is going to be enough to draw the flag. Second and six coming up here. Ball on the eight. And he just gets rid of it. Great shot. Oh, that guy's got a blue face. What the heck? Never seen that. What was that? Why does he have a blue face? That was crazy. Does he always have a blue face? No, just for like a second, he had a blue face. Oh my gosh, I can't use the camera. Anyway, he had a blue face for a second. Oh, we're just going to blitz. I don't know. Man-to-man -man coverage all the way around. I'm going to press it, too. Steps up. D it. Nice. 
Michigan defense proved to be too tough against the screen. That was an excellent job. It's Missouri football, gentlemen. Fought off their blocks and found the ball before the play had a chance to develop. This game's already shaping up to be a good one as we head to the second quarter. 7 nothing, Tiger. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. Kicks away, and it's good. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding their right there. Yeah, I was going to say, I mean, we're holding, you know, two drives from Florida, they have three points. I'll take that. Especially when we have seven on our one drive. So let's change these back before I forget. Balance, balance, balanced. All right. They've more than doubled our yardage, but we've more than doubled their score. So that's the story of the game so far. And I don't like to be cheap and go to the outside. You can get some big returns if you just like sweep on every single kick return, so I try to be honest about it. There was an opening there though, like through the middle left, um, so I tried to take that. Ah, uh, let's, uh, I'll come out in that screen play, but it's kind of like the old Peyton Manning, probably a couple plays in mind here at the line. They are playing back, so I actually will keep this play. Oh, jeez. That took a long time. That was not good. Oh, gosh. Let's see if we can get him on a draw. Ryan, how's the stadium look? I'm assuming you've been to the stadium or have seen it many times at least. It's nothing there. One yard. Oh man. Um, five wide would definitely help with the reads. Has to run an out route, but it's got to be there. Everyone else is kind of coming to the left. Whoops. I hit the wrong damn button. That's a bummer. And I missed it. Well, I let me take it back. That is who I wanted to throw to. But I was looking at the wrong, so I'll, I'll show you guys what I did. I knew the, the receiver on the right, the O receiver, it was going to run a hook. And they brought pressure. I mean, I had guys open. So again, single coverage. He's my best receiver out there. But I couldn't see him. And, and he was off screen, right? So it was more like zoomed in like this. And I thought he was the number seven. And so when I saw that right there, that break, I thought that was the curl. And so I hit O, thinking I was throwing it to that guy in the slot. And it was thrown out here, obviously. So it's kind of like a, yeah. I mean, I, I mean, I don't know. I guess it would have been better if I got sacked. I would have been sacked if I waited for that route. And uh, I had other guys open though. Had some guys underneath. Maybe had a first down if I just went underneath. I just saw the blitz and trusted my line. Ah, dang. Well, that changes everything. They have like full on momentum now, so that's rough. Can't have that. That's that's a bummer. Just a six interception. Turn. Coming back. Oh, 
Flipping is the call, and now they'll have to find a way to make up the... Oh, man. One play changed the entire game, right? Momentum, everything else. It's going to be interesting now to see right. this quarterback. Just got to stay calm and keep at it. You know, you wonder about the mindset of this football team. After the turnover on the last possession, it's going to be interesting to see what they're really made out of here. This is an important possession for this offense. Oh yeah, our tight end's a top five tight end in the country. He's only like a 76 overall, but he's got a lot of touchdowns, short yardage touchdown reception, so he's up in the mix. This is where my coordinator just loves to just get in a rhythm of calling pass plays, so. Take what they give us here. He's taken down at the 34 yard line. I'm not in a rush to go deep. Um, uh, not against a team that's this good. I mean, you're just asking for trouble. So, if they want to give me 7 8 yards on first down, I mean, we'll take it. So, it's so this is the. Uh, or, no, we didn't score a touchdown on this play. We ran this play earlier. So, same thing. And then watching that corner. So that time, corner stayed up. I think that was man to man. Uh, probably cover two, maybe it looked like. But he had him beat. It was still pretty tight. It had to be a good throw. Hester has been a beast for us. Gonna call the read option. I mentioned I don't like to call it a lot, but it's more about trying to get toner the ball here. So I'm really hoping that end will stay out. Nope. Oh boy. Man, they're so good. They're just so fast. Ethan Pouncey. They're gonna do that fade smash again. It's been a good play for us. Oh boy. Under heavy pressure. Just throwing it away. And he just gets rid of it. Even though game is lagging right there. So I know the corner on the left had good coverage. Let's uh just take a look at this here. Single coverage up top. Oh man, yeah, I did have a... Uh, I just I stopped looking at that point. I saw that corner stay up. Oh man, yeah, I definitely had him. Had Hester for a big play potentially, but then I started rolling out just to get away. Okay. Ooh, that guy's getting open. Third down now. They need to get it down to the thirty. Oh wow, he might score. He's just such a mismatch. Like our receivers, like our top receivers are all like at least an 80 overall. And so him being against like a slot corner, although Florida's slot corner is good. But like in single coverage, I just wait for him to make his break and he's open so often. That's a third and 11. That's a huge play. That's about as big of a play as the pick six was for them. Yeah, the graphics, I mean, yeah, they've done a lot of work. Uh, the revamp guys, I, mean, I don't know how much like graphics per se, right? But game's lagging a little bit but um certainly with the yeah stadium updates i mean they have like the snapdragon stadium here in san diego which is new the score bug is new all the logos of course 
Yeah, I and mean, this is right now probably the best EA sport game you can play. So, boy, big game Hester. Two touchdown catches here in the first half. Both are on third down too. I wonder if Hester will leave early. I think he's a redshirt sophomore. Probably not. But it's freaking good for us. Whoever has the ball last, my guess will be the team that wins it. Oh man. I don't know what to call against these guys. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Come on, guys. Oh, my God. Just wrap him up. The game's, like, really laggy right now. I don't know if it's just I'm streaming or what. It usually doesn't do this. They're just... Their offensive line, as we saw pregame, they're just... They're so good. They're manhandling us. No, don't miss that tackle. That's holding down X too, just to try and wrap him up. Brutal. Brutal, brutal. Come on, guys. 12 yards of carry. Come on. Trying to disguise coverage a little bit. Oh, man. Here we go. Good play. Good play. And the linebacker comes up and makes a big stop. This is textbook. This is how you're supposed to play against the run. Third down, and they need to get it to the 28. There are five wide receivers good out. The quarterback in the goal. Ah, oh, come on, guys! I mean, I had deep coverage, but it's more like middle. Like, what was, what was the man coverage doing on that play? Holy cow! We almost got him sacked too. The defense and his hands are getting better every single game. And it takes some real accuracy on those deep corner routes. So kudos to the quarterback. So let's see what what happened here. I can't remember what I called. So we brought a blitz up the middle. Oh yeah, I mean we had pressure on him. Man, was that my guy? Maybe I. You know what? I might. Oh, I might have totally blown that. Yeah, everyone's in man coverage. That was my guy. I just absolutely blew that play. I thought I was in a just like a cover one deep coverage. Trying to go up by three, they'll kick Damn. The extra point. I have given them two touchdowns basically. Pick six and then and the bad defensive play. A five play, seventy five yard drive, and they get him in for seven. Brad, that's one of those drives that can just tear your heart out. It can really demoralize the defense when they drive the ball down the field and a lot of the yards came on the ground. So our score. 17-14. They line up to kick this one away. Hester takes from the 10. Man, these lags. Brutal. There's a flag down, and it looks like this one's coming back. Another clipping. Got to stop. It's got to stop helping Florida out here. They don't need it. I 
think we saw the effects of what a long drive can do to a defense the last time this offense was out on the field. They took that football and drove the length of the field and put points up on the board. And I think it really started to affect not only just the, the psyche of this defense, but maybe even the conditioning. They Hoping this lag fixes itself. Okay, Fred, Fred Toner checking in here. Elijah Young not having a especially productive day so far. Ooh, good block. Nice run there as they work the outside. What I'm waiting, Fred Toner, uh, the true freshman, his the next part of his game he needs to develop is what you just saw right there. If he can make when he's one on one with just like one guy to beat, make that guy miss, man, and he's gonna be a home run hitter. But he just can't yet. Cannot do it yet. They're about four yards away here on third down. We're gonna not necessarily look deep here, but Hester's got an option route. Oh God! I tried to throw that behind him. It's just a terribly inaccurate throw. It wasn't in the coverage. He had so much room behind him into his outside shoulder. That's all I was trying to do. I mean, look how much space he has. Hester was wide open too, but when I saw that guy on the right, I was just like, he's just wide open, and he just threw it way inside. I mean, I'd make that throw every single time. Look how much space. I mean, just put it out. Just move it to his right. And I guess really what happened is I, I, I threw it before his route developed intentionally. He was running a post, right? And so that's what happened. The quarterback threw it at the post. But I tried to do it before his route, like just to kind of throw it out to the outside. Almost like a, like a hot read or something. But it had Hester wide open too. Second and third receiver. Haven't run a fake all year, but I don't think we're going to do it here either. Maybe in Madden. They work pretty well in Madden. Man, this lag. Oh, man, come on. This team is, is moving the football, but it has everything to do with this young man and what he's been able to do for them. Because, it's again, he's making great throws. Uh, he's, he's making good checks at the line of scrimmage. But the thing that's standing out to me is his leadership and the way this team responds to that leadership. And that's why this team right now has played as well as they have. He's got him up in the backfield. Nothing doing that time. Defender stayed home. Blocking wasn't there. Nice. Good D. Finally. You know, for you young quarterbacks and young defensive backs, this is a great example of just being smart and efficient as a defender. Instead of taking a chance and going for that interception, he was smart. Got in position. They probably know we're blitzing on third and long, but, I mean, we have to. We won't get any pressure. Look, it's still no pressure. There we go. And the offense picks it up. They'll drop it for a loss. Not gonna take a timeout here. Finally. Look how much time they had, even on a blitz. Fourth and long here after the second. Oh man. Cooper is back deep to return the punt. Oh, terrible punt. Get away. <laughs> this works out to still be an amazing punt. 
Ah, oh, bummer. Oh, ball physics. They were different back in 2013. Had single coverage up to the left, but didn't see any separation happening. I'll show you guys. I, I kind of do the whole like Drew Brees school or the Sean Payton school of passing where I look deep first, right? I mean, I check to make sure there's not a blitz coming, but I'm looking deep. And uh, receiver on the right was just kind of running a fly, and I saw that safety was not going to play very deep, but. He did like a little stutter step route almost, right? Like to try and get the guy to beat him, which is pretty cool. A little animation. And just, yeah, there was no bite, so there was nothing open. So we'll take 9, 10 yards there. No big deal. Gets out of bounds. So another route with a guy running deep here. Typically my first read. I think I have the time and can let it develop. He's got to let it develop, I should say. He's got a, a bump coverage on him. So I'm going to hold R in. Because he's going to have a safety on him. Or a linebacker. So actually, let's uh, reset that play. And I can see the running back might get open deep too. Picked off. Oh my gosh, how... Did he catch that? That was a terrible throw. I want to look at this replay. I thought I had a lot more open space when I threw that. And that linebacker did not go where I thought he was going to go. But I want to see... Like, those deep routes had a shot. But again, this is Florida. Like, I don't trust... See, he's going to have a safety on him. So Hester really wasn't open at all. The running back did have a linebacker on him man-to-man. -man. But, like, just wasn't a ton of separation. And there's a safety behind him, so... I don't know what I was thinking there. I thought those guys were going to follow the underneath route that broke through them. And so I thought that would be wide open. And, oh, they both sat there. I'm super lucky. That was a bad throw. Nope. Why are we call hurry up here? What's going on? A little play action pass, sure. Can't keep calling that fade smash. This lag is just crazy. I don't know why the stream would impact it. Like, I'm not streaming from the PS3, obviously. It doesn't even have that f functionality. Oh, well, let's look deep. Let's see if we can get something to pop here. It's got to be there, though. It looks like they might be cover three. Let's see if they keep that honest. It's got to really be there, though. Otherwise, I'll just go underneath. Yeah, nothing. Underneath it is. Just go out of bounds. Yeah, screw it. Let's look four birds again. Might have a blitz here. So if that's the case, we'll see if we can get something to pop here. Definitely a blitz. Nothing's open though. Can I outrun him? 
Nope. He gets sacked on the play. Damn. And for Black, he's having a good year. Five sacks on the season now. He really fought to get to the quarterback that time. He's certainly shown that he can get it done on a week-to-week -week basis. From the 41 yard line. Can I let this clock tick down? Good D. This lag is like making this unplayable. I don't understand why. What would be making the PS3 lag like that? They brought a big blitz, but um, nothing really opened up. I had pressure coming. I had to throw it. So, and again, I, I tend to look to space, right? I mean, I could look to see who has the most space, where their route's going, and it was that slot receiver running the post. But he just never. I don't know. I just didn't make an accurate throw. I guess I got hit. Yeah, because I was just trying to put it out there by the numbers. He had a lot of a lot of space. There's that receiver underneath on the right, but I wasn't even looking there at that point. Okay. Well, I'm glad I ran that clock down a little bit. He's gonna aim this one to the sideline. Try to kick nope. it out of bounds. Nope. I'm gonna just try to kick it, and I can't because there's lag. Oh, that work just fine. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. Not thrilled with the first half. I mean, we had a couple breaks. I guess we've given them some breaks too, though. But momentum swings have been fairly even, and with so little separation, this game can be drastically. Three timeouts. One or two plays. Florida holds a field goal lead. Jeez. This lag, like every single play is just like super laggy. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 36. If you're the defense, who do you try to cover this guy with? He's too fast for most linebackers. He's too big for most corners. You have to rely on your safeties, who generally aren't very good in one-on-one -on -one coverage. From their own 47-yard line, it's first down. We will get the ball at the half. So I guess trailing by three after throwing a pick six and me blowing a coverage that led to a touchdown. That's not too bad. Florida, it's halftime. Relax. Look how composed my team is. Just jogging in. We're not high-fiving the fans. We got business. It's a business trip at home. Working from home. We've been looking forward to this game all week, and it has lived up to billing. A close game 
you feel like that it's going to be a great second half. And boy, we've got the perfect guys in the booth. What a reward today for Nestler and Herb Street to get this game. Well, you know, it's not a secret, Reese. They get the best game every week that we think's on the schedule, right? So they got this grave. It's great. It's close. It's going back and forth. I mean, what a treat to watch one of the best games of the year just unfolding in front of us. And more importantly, to hear the silky smooth sounds of Kirk Herbstreit and Brad Nessler. Does it get any better? I can only hope that Nessler and Herbstreit will bring the same type of intensity to their call of the second half that David and I have brought to the halftime show. Of course, they always do. That's it for us here in the studio. Time to get you back out to the guys for the second half. back to the action second half just about set to begin we got a tight game here Cooper from the nine he's out to the 30 tackle at the 34 yard line I just don't They're get where this lag's coming from. It's like as usual here. I don't think they need really rough. Any anxiety about trailing. And off on the counter. And down he goes at the 35. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. This safety is as vicious a player as you're gonna find. He will make the tackle every single time. Second and nine here. The ball on the 35. Man-to-man -man covered with a blitz coming from the left, so. Throws a strike over the middle. Drop down at the 49. This is just outstanding execution by the quarterback and wide receiver. I mean, you look at that throw and you think, oh my gosh, what are you doing? You're throwing that into coverage. But only he knows the confidence that he has in his wide receiver to have the ability to come down with the football for that first down. That's big time there between the quarterback and the wide receiver. From the 24-yard line, first down. Second and ten. Ball on the 24-yard line. Here we go. Nice play to set up first and goal.
got their eyes on that goal line. Alright, you gotta start thinking about if we get to a fourth and goal situation, let's say like inside the three. Gotta set up play. I guess we'll give that one a roll. Second down and goal. Ball on the seven yard line. Jeez, come on guys. And he's tackled at the eight. Boy, did you see how the defense just swarmed to the ball carrier? That was fantastic that pursuit. So here it is, crucial third down as they try to take the lead. He's scrambling. Here they come. Oh no, dude. Gives these guys I just, I did try to put my head down. He does not. That might be only a second fumble all season long. Dang, man. I was just trying to set up for like a fourth and one. And I figured if he could just break that tackle, he would have scored. Boy. Let's see what happened here. That's wild. So on the left, I was looking immediately saw the defense shift. So I was waiting for that receiver on the left to break just to try and get out of that single coverage because he had all that space and he does. But by then I just kind of felt the pressure and felt I had to get out of there. It's just taking too long. And then I just saw nothing that I was even remotely comfortable trying to throw. And I just saw their momentum in the snow and figured, see if I can cut it back to the middle. She did. And I put the head down there and ball comes out. I mean, where would he... He would have been down? Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I would have probably gone for it. I'm certain I would have gone for it. So, I don't know. Not much similar than, I guess, getting stuffed on fourth down. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. Florida is up by three. Flares it out to the right, and that's to the fullback. Any offense is predicated on being able to move efficiently like this. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. And it looks like they might be bringing some pressure here. Tackle at the 14. That was a six-yard completion, and we'll have first and ten coming up. Heads-up play by the quarterback to find his receiver in traffic and get the ball into his hands. There's a strike complete. He's taken down at the 23-yard line. What impresses me so much is the guy's vision. He read the coverage perfectly to find his man for good yardage. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Nice play. Big player here. Mm. 
No way. No way. Nice. Nice. What is going on with their punter today? I haven't seen that at all in any game. Whatever, it's just a lag thing or something. Here comes the offense, hoping to erase the memory of the fumble on their last drive. So much in football is about how you respond to adversity. Moving forward. Looks like cover three. Oh, big blitz. Yeah, perfect. Perfect blitz. Sometimes a blitz can work out. Uh, you can actually spring your run game through a blitz, you know, if you're able to kind of get out of it quick enough, but not like that. Let's see if they're in zone this time. They're in man. So maybe Cooper can break something here. He does. Picked off. Jeez. Cover two, I just didn't let it develop enough. Uh, he had a ton of space, and I tried to lead it, and I probably should have actually thrown behind him a little bit. I mean, look at all that space. Again, I'm just usually looking for space. Tons of it. I just took a little bit too long. I must have, like, tried to lob that deeper. I don't know what I was doing on that, but I had a lot of guys open. Where are we? It's a blitz from the left again. No, it's not. Dang, man, good play. They are so quick at closing, like... It's two plays in a row, I thought, like, oh, that's a big gain, if not a touchdown. Fourth and 11, they want me to go for this? Oh, our kicker's pretty good. Be a 57-yarder. I mean, look at that. Like, he's just not throwing it accurately, and I don't know if it's, like, that is considered pressure or if, like, the weather impacts it, because, like, I just tried to zip that, because, I mean, that's a touchdown. And that corner just, again, breaks off like a magician. Yeah, I mean, he's wide open. I don't know, man. I, I kind of want to just try to kick this field goal. So with 45, it'd be a 57 yarder. I don't recall if we have the wind. I think we do. Fifty-three. Yeah, he can make this. They'll call on the field goal unit. Even into the wind, maybe. Missouri is down three and looking to tie it up. Come on, wind. Dang it. And he missed it to the right. Easily had the distance. I just put a little too much fade on it. Damn. Broke down and they punt it. What do they have in store this time out? Florida is up a field goal. Tackled after decent pickup. Around four yards there on the quarterback keeper. From their own 40 yard line, it's second down. And it looks like they're going to bring some heat. Bowman, left side. Good outside run there. 
Bowman gets six yards on the carry. Boy, do we sell out here? I don't think I'm going to sell out. We're just going to bring a blitz, though. Yeah. Oh, I got sucked into a block. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. And for Bowman, he eclipses the 1,000-yard mark for rushing. I just continue to be amazed by this back's vision. There are not that many who are better at finding a hole and hitting it hard. From the 48-yard line, first down. And now he pitches it. He tackles him for a loss. Maybe a yard on the run by the tailback. We've watched this guy play, and over the course of his college career, he's made some spectacular tackles. Nice play. How's that not a fumble? That's a pass? I don't know about that. And once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. Florida holds a field goal lead. Defense coming through. Pretty solid game. Try to knock this punt down inside the I don't, has anyone even? I don't think anyone scored in this third quarter at all. Another terrible punt. Get away from that. Jeez. I guess maybe I should have just gotten it. Great punt there. Pin them deep inside their own territory. Oh boy. All right. Come on. Hop right into the end zone, but this time it didn't go anywhere. All right, what do we got here? This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Tackle made at the six. Picked up a yard of anything on that run. That brings up second and nine. Second down and nine to go. Ball on their own six. Throws complete. He's got room to work. And they make the stop at about the 17 yard line. That's how you get a first down with your tight end. I mean, is that a baller play or what? We got to see that replay. That was sweet. <laughs> like how he jumped like six miles early, but it worked. I was like already on my way down. <laughs> oh, that's sweet. Play a better team, you just take what they give you. And that's the last play of the third quarter there. Ooh, boy. This one, tight ball game, action set to start here in the fourth quarter. I believe that's Florida's clutch. I don't think I have that at all. He fights forward to about the 20. Three yard game by the running back. Come on. This is a pretty good play here by the junior safety stepping up and making a good tackle on the ball carrier. He 
It's second down, seven to go. Ball on their own 20. Here we go. Red 18. Red. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Here. Don't need to win the game on this play. If they're gonna give me a first down, which it, not give me, but I feel like we got a good shot here. There we go. That's fine. Another good run from this running back. Let's see if he continues to get his carries as they continue with this drop. Okay, but well look for Hester deep. He might have single coverage here. Nothing that I like. <sighs> Take it. It's second down now. They're just a few feet away from that first down marker. in the box now. He fights forward to about the 39. Yeah, I guess we'll take a look deep to see if they're going to have guys up in the box like that. They do again. Some shots downfield, but again, I'd rather just take seven than have third and ten on an at best, you know, 50 ball. It's going to try and run some power. It's potentially four down territory here. Oh, he dropped it. I love the toughness here by this quarterback. Sitting in until the last second, trying to make a play downfield, only to have this defense. Phew, man. I want to go for this? For the first time all season, I'm actually going to disagree with that. We're going to punt. With the weather and everything. Wilson is the punter. Shoot. 
I'm not sure why, like, the wrap-up tackle just isn't working for me today. Just running by guys all the time. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Nice. Almost picked that off. Don't think they'll fake it, right? But that missed field goal matters a lot right now. This is a pretty crucial <laughs> series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. Less than three minutes in the game. He's at the 40. He's knocked out of bounds at about the 35. Second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. Scored a little early, but we'll take it. Good job, band, playing two songs at the same time. Now we have one of the worst pass defenses in the country, so let's see how this goes. But Emory Jones has played pretty bad. Not bad, but not great in the snow, I guess. Just under two minutes in the game. Sets up a screen. Tailback's got Come on, man. I just can't wrap guys up today. Like, I need to literally check. Am I even hitting the right button? I thought it was just X. Maybe I'm thinking of Madden. It's like 40 yards of bad plays by me. Defensive pursuit. Yeah, defensive assist. X. Like, it's just not doing anything. It's 
brutal. From their own 38 yard line. First down. The quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Now he tries to buy some time. Oh, I thought he fumbled it. Wrap anybody up. Second down, seven yards to go. Ball on the forty eight yard line. There's a strike complete. Oh man, come on. seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. We have less than a minute to go. He's on the run. Nice. He gets sacked on the play. The Gators will use their first time out of the half. Huge play. So the sack makes this a second and long. And he throws it away. Huge, huge, huge play. On a blitz, too. Got lucky. Zone blitz all the way. Come on, deep covers. Do your job, please. I might cheat deep here a little bit, too. Yes. That's ball game. All right, took out number 14, Florida, boys. This might be it. They've got the lead, but if they Not the prettiest the game, but we shut them out in the second half. Oh, man. gonna make me pick this. Only one score in the second half, but it was huge. Back to back wins in the snow after giving up 70 something to Tennessee. I think all of that was in the first half, right? Four catches, 92 yards. All right, party at Ryan's house. Big win.
Man, this game's so good, guys. Like, go get a PS3. Go buy college. Huge win. Oh, let's grab a couple of these uh, replays just for the archives. Grab the screenshots here. Yeah, that was fun. That was a fun game. It wasn't the prettiest, really, for either team, but uh, that was fun. Good stream. I feel like the game played really realistic. Um, that was not easy. I also didn't just move the ball at will by any stretch. Um, let's just see if we need good plays here. So just super fun just to grab these replays to watch later. So two interceptions in his last two weeks there for the linebacker. Bailey, I don't even know his first name, but huge play. First drive of the game, I believe. Just so many features in this game that like aren't in Madden, and I, I guess maybe you don't need this necessarily in Madden, but I actually don't like that view. Let's uh, see if they give us a better one. Nope. Come on, give me a better view. There we go. Yeah, sweet play. Boy, they put up 17 in the second. We withstood the storm, though. F minus. The pick six. What was this play? 41 yards? I don't even remember this. Oh, yeah, this is the second touchdown. Yeah. Just took it and ran. He's a beast. He's really not. He's like an 82 or something. He's just such a good route runner. It's going to go pretty quiet after that. I don't care so much. I think you get to save five of these, so I'll grab the other interception. Another huge play. That was at the end of the first half. These jerseys look so good, man. Revamped. You guys are something else. Super awesome stuff. Not much happened in the second half till that fourth quarter touchdown, really. That was, I guess, part of the challenge, right? Is just to uh, withstand. It wasn't even boredom, but just kind of withstand the, the lulls. Ooh, just threw a strike. I was so worried about that safety cutting back over on that. Huge play. Let's look at that play from another angle, too. Um, let's do, like, press box wide. And just, I don't know if we'll see it, but that safety... Yeah, right there. Oh, so worried 16 was going to just turn and, and make a play on that. Let's see if we can get a better angle. Uh, would it be end zone? No, reverse end zone. I don't know if we'll see it from this angle or not. Yeah, right there. So 16, I had to like throw it when he was like moving right across my lane, but uh, with the blitz, we gave it a shot. So yeah, that was really, really good game. 21-17 win. Missouri will go to nine and... Two Florida will drop to seven and four. It's a pretty bad loss for them. They only had 264 yards of offense. I feel like the snow helped us. We were able to run the ball. Um, they were still more efficient running, but we were far more efficient passing. Their downs were exactly the same. Both had two turnovers, two penalties. Just a big win. Oh, yeah, and we had a ton of recruits at this. Oh, well, I guess just three recruits, but 
had a handful of recruits at this game, so that's huge. Uh, Basilac played well enough. Interception was bad, but we're able to run the ball. Fred Toner in a nice game today. Tight end with six catches. Hester with four. Dove had a nice game finally. He's my best receiver as far as overall, but he's just doesn't have the same kind of impact, but that's a real nice game for him. 47 yards and a score. We'll take it on three catches. Defensively, we had quite a few sacks, too. Three sacks, all from defensive tackles, so just right up the middle. It's a real nice treat to have. Chad Bailey, senior linebacker, only 229. Uh, or I'm, yeah, sorry, linebacker, yeah. That's a pretty normal-sized linebacker. Tyler Hibbler gets his first pick of the year. Yeah, that's too many times thrown in the coverage. How many times did we get sacked? Once or twice? Just once. Nice. On a blitz. So, hey, really good game. I will take it. That was a ton of fun. One game left in this 2022 season. And that'll be against Texas A&M, one of our rivals from the old Big 12. So... Perhaps we'll stream that. If you're curious to see it, let me know. Leave a comment, um, and I can get that streaming. I'm going to be going out of town for Memorial Day weekend coming up here, so um, I don't know if I'll get a chance to do it next weekend, uh, but we'll see. Maybe during the week. Uh, I'll probably try to wrap the season up, so maybe I'll try to do a weekday stream. But um, if you haven't subscribed and you'd like to, please do. And if you've enjoyed the video or you want to see more with Revamped, give it a like. And, uh, of course, if you do have questions, you can find me here or on Twitter. But that's going to do it. Florida falls to Missouri 21-17. That was a ton of fun to play. I appreciate you guys checking out the stream. I'm Mike Lowe, and I'll see you guys next time.